All right, today we will be going over and covering the process of terminating an RG59 Siamese cable for use with a analog or AHD uh, surveillance system, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is take our RG59 Siamese cable and separate the two wires. It's called Siamese cable because there are two wires. The first is an 18 gauge solid copper wire that is used for video transmission. And we also have uh, two pair or, or two wires, one pair uh, of 18 gauge power cable. Okay, you have a red and a black. Okay, red is obviously uh, positive. Okay, this will uh, hook to the camera on one end. The other end will hook to the power supply box, the red and the black cable and the BNC connector uh, will plug into your DVR. Okay, so we're gonna be using the camera end as an example, okay? Any tool that we use in this video, as well as the wire and the power supply box for that part, for that matter, there is a link in the description of this video to order uh, the exact same equipment we're using in this demonstration, including the tools. So this tool is a coaxial stripping tool, okay? And we are going to take the solid wire, the copper wire that's gonna plug into the BNC connector, and we're gonna put this into our stripper just like so. And we're gonna turn this this way, turn it this way, and pull it off. And as you can see, it, it, it stripped the jacket off of the wire and made this the exact same length for the ideal RG59 compression fit, okay? The compression fitting, we're just going to put the copper in the middle of this. We're going to twist until it's snug, okay? And you want to use a compression fitting with your analog systems, with your BNC cables. If you use the cheap twist-on connectors, over time as the recorder moves or the wire moves, the cable's going to become separated from the plug and you're going to lose your video shot, guaranteed. So take the time and get a compression fitting. This is a compression tool um, that will crimp this together, okay? So we're gonna put this compression fitting in the tool. And if you watch as I squeeze, okay, we have squished the compression part together, okay? And this is solid. I cannot pull this apart, okay? If the recorder falls, this is going to hold it up. This is a permanent connection, okay? A compression fitting. Um, now for the power wire that's going to give our camera power okay the cameras have a female pigtail just like this that the male connector from the power lead needs to plug into okay so this is our male male power lead if we look it will plug into there okay just like so so what we're going to do there are two ways to connect this red wire and this black wire together the first is a crimp okay you'd put one end in here you'd put the end from the wire in here okay and we'd squish it together um, with our splicer okay for the sake of this video we are going to use the twist on method because it is a little bit quicker and we don't want to tie up your time with the video so we have red the red there okay we are going to take our twist on connector and we're going to put it on the wires and we are just going to rotate till it gets tight. We don't want to over tighten and break wires, right? Uh, after two or three twists, you will feel it tighten up and that's where you want to leave it. Okay. This will want to be in a junction box outside. You do not want these leads to get wet and corroded. Okay. So anytime we make a connection, on the camera end, we want to make sure that we put it in the proper junction box, okay? So now, beautiful, look what we have. We have a power lead and a BNC connector for the camera, okay? So we'll take the pigtail, the BNC will fit into here, and we will plug the power uh, into the female plug, okay? And that is how you connect a analog system. Okay, be sure to use the BNC compression fittings so that wire does not come loose. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.